All right, everyone, we're going to be talking about some crazy lighting effects this week. And what we're going to be doing is taking this image of this girl with the guitar, and we're going to jazz this up really crazy with some cool lighting effects. So let's jump right in and get started by going ahead and blacking out the background here. I don't want to have all this kind of gray area in the background. So we're going to use our levels to go ahead and black that out. So I'm going to press Command or Control L, or simply go into the Image menu, go to Adjustments, and go to Levels. Grab the black eyedropper tool here, and I'm just going to click in the area next to the subject right here, this background. It's what it should do is black out that entire background just like that. Now there's a couple of areas in the outside here that didn't get it. So let's click those to take care of that. So now we're only seeing most of the subject, or most of the subject that's lit, and the black, rest of the background is all blacked out. So there we have that. So what I want to do is actually bring most of this highlighted area to its own layer. And what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to load the luminosity of this image as a selection. You've seen me do this in previous tutorials. I'm going to hold down the Option Command and then the Tilde key, or you can simply go into the Channels palette and hold down your Command or Control key and simply click directly on the RGB channel. Back into the layers, I'm going to press Command or Control J, and it will copy that selected area to its own layer. Now if I turn off the background layer, you can see that it's very, very faint, but it is there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press Command or Control J a whole bunch of times. I'm just going to keep doing it until the density, and a good guide for me is the density of this arm right here. There's a little bit of transparency here. I'm going to keep hitting Command J until that is almost pretty much gone. Right about here. And I, in my testing, I realized that about 60 copies of the layer should do it. As you can see in the layers panel, there's copy 60 of this one layer. So keep that top layer selected. I'm going to scroll on back down to the original layer. I'm going to hold down the shift key and select all those layers. And then it's going to press command or control E and it will merge them down to one layer. And this will come into play in just a moment, but let's move on and add our lighting effects. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen tool. And right inside the image, we're going to first go over here and grab or create a new blank layer. Now I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's say before I grab the pen tool, I need to actually create the brush that I'm going to use to apply the effect to. So let's first go in here and grab the brush tool and open up the brush options. And we're going to look for a brush that's kind of got the scatter, you know, kind of a stippling brush here, as you can see right there. So I'm going to select this one, this number 27 right here. And what I'm going to do is make sure that I have the shake dynamics activated and that the control is set to pen pressure because I am, in fact, using a pressure sensitive tablet. Now if I go over here and set my brush, let's bring white to the foreground. I just paint into my image. You can see that it's kind of giving me what I want. It's kind of a soft edge, and the lighter hard I press down, it makes it pretty bright. The overall brush size itself is a little big, so I'm going to take it down to about 10 there. I think that looks pretty good. So the brush is now created. What I need to do to get my lighting effect is to add a layer style to this. So with that streak, um, I'm going to go and leave this streak there just because it's a point of reference here for the layer style I'm going to apply. I'm going to go into the layer and let's go into the effects menu and choose outer glow. And inside here we're going to go in here and change this color to first let's do a blue. Kind of a really bright blue color there. That looks pretty good so far. Let's take the opacity all the way up to 100 and I'm going to change the blend mode to hard light. And let's increase that size considerably. And next take the spread up ever so slightly until it gets really bright there, which in this case looks like it's at a at about four. And I do believe that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and, and again, this is a layer style. So if I need to change something or tweak something, I can always go back and do that. So let's go ahead and hit OK for now. I'm going to press Command or Control A to select the entire layer and then just press Delete. Notice the layer didn't go anywhere. We simply deleted what was on the layer, but the layer style is still there. So anything we add to this layer is going to pick up that layer style as we do it. So Let's again go back to that pen tool, and we're going to draw a path. I'm going to start right about here at the bottom of the, t bottom of the guitar, and just kind of let's go way out here and give myself a curved path right like that. So with that path selected, let's go into our Paths panel, and we're going to go into the Flyout menu, making sure we've got that path layer selected. Let's go into the Flyout menu and choose Stroke Path. We're going to use the brush we just created, and we want to simulate pressure, so leave that checked on, and then click OK. And notice what it's done. It's applied the brush along the path, and it's picking up the layer style because we're on that particular layer. 
So let's deactivate the path, just click in the blank area of the paths panel, and let's go back into this layer. I'm gonna command or control click directly on that layer, and it loads it as a selection. And then I'm gonna press Option Command and then the letter T to set up a, tr a free transform, or actually, a re it's a step and repeat, rather. So, the step and repeat ready, we're gonna take the center target here, the pivot point, and move it. Just click directly on it, and you can move it around. I'm gonna move it to right about here in the middle of our arm. Not quite that high. Maybe over just a little bit more. And then we're gonna take our object, when we see the little curved arrow here, we're gonna take this and just kinda give it a little bit of a turn, and then press Enter. Now, keeping it selected, we're gonna hold down the Shift Option and the Command key, that would be Shift Alt Control, and then continuously press the letter T as that shape tends to go around. That's pretty cool. So again, it's on its all it's all on its own layer, so we can take this and kind of move it around. And if we need to give it a little bit of a rotation, we can do that. Now I want to put it beneath the shape layer or the highlighted layer that I created. So let's drag that beneath so we get the subject. And this is the cool part about this. You know, the some of the highlighted areas are covering it, but then the other areas are kind of showing it through, giving me an interesting effect. Well, let's move on and add some other lighting effects. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer. And Let's go over here and get, grab our pen tool. All right, so I'm gonna go over here and just start on the left outside of the image here, and we're gonna click once. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna click and just drag out and give myself a curved path here. Maybe not quite that much. And then we'll just bring this and give us a curve and stop right about there. Now, just like we did before, we're gonna go into paths panel and stroke path, brush, simulate pressure, okay. We're on that new layer. Now, I want to use the same layer style that I did on this layer, but I want to use a different color. So if, let's first copy that layer style. I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key, and then click directly on that effects icon and drag it to that target layer. Notice it applies that effect. Well, as I said, I want to change the color, so I'm going to double click that effects icon, highlight the glow, and let's give this an outrageous pink color. There we go, looks good. Click OK. We'll take that and we'll move this up a little bit, just like that. Now, again, as we did before, I'm gonna command or control click directly on the layer, load as a selection, press Option, Command T to set up the free transform. Take the center target, let's move it to right about here. Again, we're gonna press Option Command T and set up the step and repeat, and we're gonna take the target and move it to right about here, just above the guitar. So notice when I get to moving it around, it moves around that pivot. So let's take this and move it ever so slightly over down. Press Enter, keeping it selected again. Let's press Shift Command, that'd be Shift Option Command, that'd be Shift Alt Control on a Windows machine, and then continuously press the letter T once more, and we start to get really cool spirally effect there. So let's deselect that, we'll bring that around here, perhaps even scale that in there a little bit so that halo kind of gets around the top of the guitar there. So that looks pretty good. So let's take this blue trail and kind of move it down a little bit. And that's coming along very nicely. Now we can add another few effects here. I'm gonna go into that copy layer where we've got the, little, the girl sitting here. I'm going to double click on that and we're going to apply a layer style to this. Let's do an inner glow, perhaps a similar blue color to what we've been using on the image there. That looks pretty good. Kind of get us some character to that. Let's give it a little bit more enhancement by going in here and grabbing an adjustment layer. Let's do a solid color and let's get another blue so we got that solid color adjustment there just above it. I'm gonna change the blend mode of it to overlay. And then I'm gonna isolate it to just the subject by clipping it right inside there. I'm gonna option click on those, between those layers, and then click, and it will clip that adjustment layer only to this subject layer here. So that's pretty much it. Just going in there and really going crazy with those paths and the lights and the layer styles and giving it a very cool effect. In fact, I'll show you the finished product I was experimenting with earlier here you can see that I just really went crazy with all the shapes and the lights to turn out 
a really cool lighting effect. I added some sparkles in there. That's just a simple scatter brush in there, but you can get an idea of all the cool stuff you can do with really cool lighting effects.